It stops in the middle of my ranting. Five minutes. What am I ranting about? A movie. Or TV. TV. You're TV. always ranting about Oh, something. your TV. Your 4K news. Yeah. Okay, well, we're Did recording. Get Did you get a 4K? I plan on getting one. Uh, yeah. He's going to have two TVs. Hey, Miss Edna. Um, what? Miss Edna, Edna across oh, the street. It's like... 87 years uh, I old. I guess so. <laughs> Every time she leaves her porch, it makes me super nervous. I know. <laughs> she's going for a walk. But and she's I'm... spry. She kinda. is a spry old woman. <clears throat> but I swear, she's like, I'm going to go for a walk. And I'm just like, <laughs> sweet mercy. She just found out she's got podcast. cancer. Are you recording all this? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. We will begin in three, two, we did begin. one. What's up, everybody? I thought you just flicked him off. <laughs> Me? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Videos Podcast, episode 38 of the You're podcast. You're creeping up to a year. I really? Realize. Already? It was like September, end of September when we started doing it. Oh, that. I don't remember. Oh, I'm pretty sure. We have to do something special. Have everybody we've a had guest? on here. Finally. Which is two people. Uh, now. We haven't had any guests. <laughs> Jason once. That Twice. <laughs> And both times he barely said be counted. Figure out when the the year is. Cause Let's go I, back and see when we uploaded the first one. Yeah. I was talking to Erin and she said Wesley might be coming back into town for a couple of days. Hmm. How fun would that, that would be? That would be crazy. Good old Wesley. <laughs> I can't do his laugh. No, I you cannot. Can't. Okay. Any who's Wesley. You sounded a car like the fairy. <laughs> <laughs> or you go. <clears throat> yoga, 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 yoga. Okay, welcome to the video's podcast 38. Um, you realize Chris nobody is here. can understand you until I you get to the last like, two. 38. Like... Chris is here, and we have I'm an old here. We have an old guest who's usually with an us in playthroughs that we haven't done in a <laughs> while. You watch your mouth. It is our anniversary <laughs> after oh, yeah, all. It is. Happy anniversary. <laughs> hey, Shanks, anniversary. introduce yourself again because it's been so long. I'm the wife. <laughs> right. Morgan. Enough. Yes. Good if enough. you've watched our playthrough, she's been in mostly all of them. Most of them. And usually Except for like, was, we need to do these playthroughs. We haven't done these playthroughs in forever. And I'm pretty to, sure... That's where we get our people. I don't know that we've done a playthrough since we've been no. married. No. I feel like we have since we've been married. Yeah, because... we Because we the, did a lot of streams. On North Street. We did a lot of streaming. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah. I take that back. Yeah, we did a lot of streaming. Since Sebi was live born, streaming. no. I can okay, say that So it's much. been well over a year since yeah. I've really been on. Because oh, since Sebi going. was born, we haven't. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, the three of us are back. Sebi is at my parents, so we kind of have a night without Freedom! <laughs> so, uh, that's why Morgan's joining us for once. I'm still and, hostage, though. Uh, so. What? Huh? I said I'm still held hostage. Why? Because at any given moment, I'm going to have to get up. That's true. <laughs> She's pregnant. Um, I'm pretty sure. I probably said that like episodes ago. But with the anyway. reincarnation of Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that means Ganon's close. We have a link. We do have we a do? link. Yeah, we know someone we have, that we named have their a, kid oh. Link. A friend who Uh-oh. named their child Anyone's Link. Anyone's gonna name a Ganondorf. That means there's a Ganon coming. <laughs> you see you a, what? You see if, a giant it, pig running uh, towards okay, there. I've got a couple of friends who have some pigs. I might just oh, try no. some name suggestions out there. Gotta get these there. kids together. Totally make the get pig wear a cape together. and yeah. run around. Oh, paint them blue. Is it blue? Oh my gosh, it's the old one. Yeah. Alright. So... You'll find this hilarious. You don't care for the series, but when they added the amiibo functionality to Animal Crossing New Leaf, you could scan certain amiibo in and it would give you a character specific. Yeah, I think he's So, like, about... Wolf Link, you could have. You could have your Pona. But one of the things is you can actually have a pig and it's Ganon right. in your town. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do I haven't done it yet, but I want to. I have Wolf Link. But, like, I want so Ganon just, walking just... around my town watering flowers. <laughs> <laughs> but that's funny. That would take pictures of it. Now that's comedy. <laughs> well, that's comedy. Anyway, let's hop right in. So, what have you been up to, Chris, this past week? Hurting myself. No, you just stop doing though. that. <laughs> no, yesterday. Oh. oh. What? My TV stand I've been talking about came. Yay. And the FedEx guy delivered it to my front door. Didn't, Didn't you read the it. weight limit on it? <laughs> I had to get it in. <laughs> so I just lifted it up. Uh, pulled something here. 
Uh-oh, how are you going to work? in my kitchen. You got four and a half skids coming. How are you going to work? <laughs> Is it really four and a half skids? Well, it was four, and then Justin went and actually added... Oh, no. Justin went and actually added the new stuff. Well, maybe it'll feel at, better. But... It's too, it's another... Is it your left hand or right hand? My left, left hand, my, and I'm a lefty. He is a lefty. I might have a brace. She has a brace. when I crushed my hand a couple years ago. You can borrow it. If you crushed your hand. hand. You don't yeah, remember that? you don't remember that? When she crushed no. her hand between the like, palate Like, shortly thing? after yeah. I started my job, I slammed yeah, my, I my hand this. between... Like, my hand was in a sling. I'm surprised. And oh. everything. Yeah, this was like mid-January. Mm-hmm. Texted Sean on a Sunday. And yeah, I was I'm like, at church. Hey, I'm she like, like, don't I'm in the freak hospital. out, but I'm on my way to the emergency room. I just crushed like, my hand. I well, might no, you didn't even say you crushed your yeah. hand. You said, I'm on my way to the emergency room. I'm like, what? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it no. It really I... hurts if I turn it like this. <sighs> like this. <laughs> See, whenever that happens, I kind of like it. Do you want some frozen peas? Do you want some frozen peas? <laughs> Was that to me or her? You! <laughs> I kind of like it. I, 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 I've been reading it, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice segue it, there. I'm still reading it. Yep, he's still just, reading it. Um, uh, there was a chapter called Three Uninvited Guests. It was really good. It's scary. About three secondary characters that are How big is the book? That's over a thousand pages. Oh, goodness gracious. There's a lot. There's a lot to that book. Oh, my. Did you watch the new It trailer? Yeah, I was going to talk about that. Oh, okay. The okay. Then we'll get to I that. I think the biggest book <clears throat> I've read aside from the Bible was only like five, maybe 600 pages. Oh. The biggest book I've read was 10. <laughs> <laughs> the comics I got you. <laughs> Though I do have a life goal to read Les Mis Robs. That's like 1,200 pages. Have you seen that movie with Hugh Jackman no, singing? No. The <laughs> non-musical version, because I know you're There's not... a non-musical version? Yes, well, with, it's not a... with Liam <laughs> Neeson <laughs> and Joffrey Rush. It's fantastic. <laughs> Fantastical! Yeah, it's from like the 90s, so Liam Neeson oh. looks like very Qui-Gon Jinn. <laughs> yeah. So what else have you been up to? Is that it? Hurting yourself Injustice, I would do one little character at a time on there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I may or may not have been randomly singing Star Wars at work today. <laughs> do, 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 do. What have you been up to this past week? Well, work, 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 I was work, to say, what have you been up work, to this work, past year? Because you haven't been on here. Oh my gosh. In work, getting work, pregnant. work, work, work. <laughs> pregnancy. Getting pregnant. Yeah. That only took once. <laughs> Technically twice because of Sid. Okay, if you want to count that, but I didn't get pregnant with Sibby last year. <sighs> it's been over a year. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just work. I played hooky yesterday. I don't. I, I think I've played more hooky in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, because you want to just announce that to everybody. I don't They're think. listening. I had legitimate reasons. Child kept me up all night. I was tired. There you go. <laughs> I'm like I'm there not. You, go. you heard it here. I'm like I'm not working. An Ooh, hour away can... on three hours of sleep. Not happening. Yeah. Ouch. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, they, uh, they know. <laughs> I admit, this past week I've been working. <laughs> oh, splatooning. I've been splatooning. Because you just got it. Yep. I beat the story mode. I didn't get it. Oh, that was the best, the though. Mode. Did you tell him the story? But... No, because about I got it after mode? our podcast. You know, so there's this whole story about Splatoon. Because yeah. Sean comes up to me several weeks, maybe a month or two ago, mentioning, dropping hints that Splatoon was coming out and that he wanted it for <laughs> his birthday slash anniversary, but then decided in the same breath to announce that he also wanted 10 different Amiibos. Because they were all coming out at the same time. And I said he had to pick one. Not one Amiibo, either the game or the Amiibos. Wow, he would always pick the game. Well, he picked the Amiibos. Picked the Amiibos because they'd be harder to find than the game. Yeah, so we agreed on getting the Amiibos, which was your Christmas anniversary birthday <laughs> present combined because that's how we are this year. Um, but what Sean didn't know was that I had already been in communications with one of his coworkers who wanted to get it to him for his birthday, but Sean's birthday isn't for another month and a half. So, we surprised Sean by torturing him for weeks and weeks on end, waiting for it to come out. (laughs) 
So it comes Sean's out. Getting emotional. So it comes out <laughs> in like three days. Yeah, he's crying. He's crying. Guys. No, I just itched my eyes. Yeah, door. right. You wiped both of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're both itchy. Yeah. So, yeah. So for like three days after Splatoon is released, Sean's just like, "Are you sure? Are you sure I can't get it? Are you sure? Like, please, can I?" I was already can I, can I, can I get it. But. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I would have beat you fierce. Oh, yeah. Oh, but I got two copies here, Chris. You can play with us. Oh my yeah. gosh. No. And then he wouldn't have because he no. doesn't like it. But Justin told me that he's going to give it to him Monday because he wanted to play with Sean. Which we haven't yet, yet, actually. But he wasn't going to wait until September. Yeah. <laughs> so. We... So I'm at work and we're leaving. And, you know, we wear these apron things and the aprons have pockets. And Justin and I were leaving at the same time, so I decided to wait for him. He walked into the break room to grab, because he normally has his stuff in there, like his medicine and stuff. And he walks out, and he just shoves something in my pocket. And I, and <laughs> right I in down his kangaroo pouch. Yeah, and I looked down, and I was like, it's Splatoon! And I kind of freaked out a little bit. And oh. I dribbled a little bit. Oh, dribbled. <laughs> <laughs> the water on yeah, the computer. Don't. Don't destroy the computer. <clears throat> but I have been playing Splatoon, and I will review that. In my, so I do have a review, actually. But you, you didn't finish it yet. I finished the main story. So I can, uh, they can review the story. Yeah. I suppose. Because that's short. But So that's You're really short. all I've been up to besides work and whatnot. So, uh, all right. Next, we got some news. Um, gaming news. Nintendo has said today that... Today. Today. They, today. they said today. <laughs> that... that, that. The SNES Classic. SNES. Well, as they said, like we appreciate the over um, excitement, anticipation for the SNES Classic. And but we're, we're not by... actually doing it. No, don't. No. <laughs> April Fool's. Psych! That would That'd be suck. terrible. That would be awful. <laughs> that would be the worst um, thing. But... Not coming out until like, Never. Christmas of 2020. 2020. SNES 2. <laughs> Better games. <laughs> No, better games. Just it just adds Donkey Kong Country two and three on it. Um, but they said that by the end of August that it's actually going to be available for pre order. Late August, they said. And they said that when they do release it to the stores, that they're also sending a larger amounts of shipments to the stores as well. I swear, if you're out getting your SNES Classic and I go into labor. <laughs> No, I'm going to no, try and order it online first. It's being first. released in September. Yeah, it's being released okay. in September. If you wait that long to go in labor, pre-order. there's something wrong. Well, when in September are <laughs> the they? The end of September. 29. Oh, okay. 20, yeah, no, I ain't waiting September that long. September 29th. <laughs> I'm, I'm done being pregnant no, now. Sept- <laughs> September 29th is when it, the release okay. date for it. So okay. Friday. So if That's you're still pregnant story. then, then no, there's something wrong. No, the doctors won't let you go any yeah. more. Well, they say they won't let you go any more than two weeks, but after like three days, they send you for a stress test and threaten to induce you. What? Why is there a, a wheel on the wall? Giant gear. <laughs> so I was looking at it. It's decor. <laughs> is it a clock house? I don't, we don't actually, I'm not. It's a ski lodge. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, you know what happens at the ski lodges. What? Oh. Avalanche. Yeah, that too. Oh. Was that a Boy Meets World reference? Yes. Okay. It was a Boy Meets World reference. Anyway. Oh, yeah, put those um, away, by the way. And it, put what away? The Boy Meets World. You had them all, like, up here. I took them back downstairs. Anyway, Why? moving on. What if I wanted to watch them up here? Well, then... <sighs> Keep going. Moving on. Um, any other gaming news? I got nothing, man. No news? I, not well, really. Okay, not, okay. I don't think... I really is, don't. I think there is any other Death. gaming news. Oh, Resident Evil, what is it? Something Revelation? Revelation 1 and 2 is coming out for the Switch. So if you like those games, there you go. Um... Uh, Oh, the Splatfest is this weekend. So pick your team. It's mayo versus ketchup. Pick your team and fight to see who wins. I'm on team ketchup. There's a fun little blurb on that. I told you this. Do you know ketchup was originally like a fermented form of fish sauce? Yeah. It was made of fish? It had fish in it. No. Yeah. Yeah, That's funny. In the game. Um, the two host people actually were going back and forth about mayo and ketchup and the one girl says something like ketchup is just a wannabe jam and the other one's like what do you mean it's like jam you know you got strawberry and jam this is just tomato jam no it's weird but what I don't know <clears throat> anyway uh, isn't that kind of funny though like mayonnaise 
Well, I don't know. It's just like you look at it and people say it's either mayonnaise or it's mayonnaise or mayonnaise. it's just mayo. I just say mayo. It's mayo mayonnaise. or mayonnaise. Or Miracle Whip. Ugh. That's Ugh. Not that's mayonnaise. mayonnaise. That's not mayonnaise. That's oh, something boy. else. Okay. Well, anyway, the Splatfest is this weekend, so choose your side. Who would you choose? Mayo or ketchup? Probably ketchup. Put that on more stuff. Ketchup, what about you? <sighs> Probably ketchup. ketchup. <laughs> well, See, it's weird. Uh, I thought they would do like mustard versus ketchup, but mayo versus yeah. ketchup. That's a little strange. You thought they would do what versus mustard. ketchup? Mustard. Mustard oh. versus ketchup. But I do love mustard. I, right, so got, I would still choose ketchup. They've got mustard. Like, crazy mustard sales at work right now. <laughs> hmm. there's, there's extra spicy sriracha mustard. Sounds like a personal problem. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so much mustard. All right. And mayonnaise. <laughs> Um, <laughs> movie news. You had the It trailer. It trailer. New It trailer came out. Watched it. And I'm like, I don't recognize any of this. <laughs> I've been reading the book and I'm seeing stuff that's not in the book at all. That's weird. And I haven't finished. Okay. But, yeah, most of it, actually. But, you know, you're totally <laughs> setting yourself up for disappointment now. Not necessarily. Have you read the book before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. I have. But how long uh, has it been? A while. Okay. Like, I mean, it now and a lot of it, I don't remember some of the stuff that's going on. Because <clears throat> I feel like... I, I mean, like the trailer, Just, though, just huh? in any any book that I've read that's then later been turned into a movie, I'm always... Dark like, Tower. Super, like, Dark super, Tower, I'm like, oh... Well, just you take any of the Lord of the Rings movies. I actually like the movies better. What? Why? I don't know. They just... Uh, they the were, soundtrack? No. What about Jurassic I, Park? I don't, I don't You have no book. saying that. You've had that book for three I years. I may have read that book. That was a long time ago. Goodness. There's a lot gracious. of differences. A lot more violent. Yeah, well, and John Hammond well, dies in the first one. Yeah. There's a little differences. Yeah. Huh. I've never read it. I know it I changes, and I read a little bit of it, but. You did not. I said I read a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> but what? It looks. When I first got it, I read like two pages. Oh god, that doesn't. <laughs> they count. announced a running time two two hours and fifteen minutes for it. So that's good. When was the original released? The the miniseries. No. Yes, that's was it. It was a miniseries. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, the TV movie. Wow. Didn't that was nine early nineties. So when was the movie released? This movie that's coming out? No, the It movie. There's only one. That, that was it. was it. a miniseries. Oh, it was a TV movie. I didn't realize it was a miniseries. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Very interesting. May have been only two nights because it was only three hours. Tim Curry was in that, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Pennywise. He's, he's Pennywise. messed up. <laughs> he's awesome in that, man. Um, he's awesome. He's, he's something So you're, are you looking forward to it? Or? Yes. I, the trailer looks good. And... Okay. We'll see. Um, I guess another movie news: the Emoji Movie has like one of the oh worst God. ratings ever. Well, it looks stupid. It does. But didn't you say? Patrick, Why would you make Patrick a movie? Stewart? Patrick Stewart is poop. But other than that, I mean, it, the thing's got like a three percent on Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> out of a hundred. So I thought you said it was like one point six. <laughs> it was originally zero, and then two point. people got it a fresh. What did they say about it? Did you read that? I didn't. I didn't read. I just saw. They got on there to see what those people said. Should have. Or I'm sure if they're are you able, able to make comments, because if so, there's probably lots of comments the users, on the fresh there's ones. There's user reviews. What did the users give it? Like a 43 percent is what the users. So it's like a weird. And that's kind of a weird. Well, they're usually pretty close. Not in this one. Not in this yeah, case. I say that's a pretty big. So <laughs> needless to say, unless the emoji <laughs> movie. Apparently it. it had a good weekend, yay! Did which it? means we might get people a sequel. People actually going to see it. Yeah, <laughs> some people are actually going to see it because they heard it so bad. That's I've bad. always wanted to do that. Not, not <laughs> at the theaters, though. No, no, I have like. I feel like that's a Netflix movie or something. No, no, like so ever, ever before. since Drake and Josh was on TV, like I always wanted Drake to choose Josh. like. That worst review movie and just go and see it. And Why then... Drake and Josh? Like where? What? The what is the Drake and Josh used to do that. They would they would pick the worst rated oh, that's right. movie. You know it's kind of ironic because then Josh got a job at the movie theater. 
Well, I think that's part of where it started. <laughs> or no, it was shortly, shortly after that. No, because anyway, he got but... the job after that. Oh. Anyway. Um, any other news? No, I got nothing. <clears throat> oh. I mean, there was some DVD screen or screen factory. Well, screen factory. Shout factory. You know, I've been buying a lot of their Blu-rays lately. Okay. They announced a bunch of Blu-rays coming out. Nothing out. Bought. Well, no, no, no. They, they do. They're releasing a, a collector's edition of the Zack Snyder Dawn of the Dead, which I always like that. I actually don't have that. That was on my wish list. Well, there that's you go. cool. And then, then um, they're releasing the Blu-ray of this documentary I had, which I didn't think would ever come out on Blu-ray. It's called Hype. Okay. It's about the grunge scene in the early nineties. That's releasing in September, and then a bunch of miseries. Like miseries coming an out. Appreciated time. Oh no. No. That's very appreciated. <laughs> um, Misery. You ever see that movie? That's a Stephen King. No, oh, that's wild. All I think that's about Kathy is Paramore. Bates. <laughs> Kathy Bates. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a bunch of movies on that list, but nothing that I'm hugely excited about. Do you think Shell Factor ever released like the Mario series in HD Blu-ray? Like the cartoon? What was that? Well, they space? haven't. They didn't release G.I. Joe or any of those, actually. Oh. Power Rangers. Because I would love to see like those. Yeah, I don't ever. Who's gonna take the time? To <laughs> hey, they're called classics. Dumb. I think they did their own DVD. I know I have them. That's, that's good enough. <laughs> uh, and they're on Netflix. Are they the whole series? Well, the Super Mario Bros. Super Show is, but don't have all the episodes for some reason. It says Netflix it is. is weird sometimes. I know. Rude. Like apparently there was one point where Netflix. Considerate. On it was on Dark like... Man two and three, they're releasing Dark Man. They ever see Dark Man? No. That's Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson's in that. Sam Raimi movie. Dark Man. Oh. Oh, they releasing two. Does and three. he do his infamous line from Taken? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's been I really a long time since I've seen every that. Every you see of him, it's like you know, I I will Shout. find you and I will kill you. <laughs> Anyway, Shout Factory's been releasing cool stuff the past two uh, years. You also watch really cool stuff. Sonic Boom. What does that have to do with anything? It's a TV show. And I've been seeing quotes from this show, and it's hilarious. Like, Knuckles making a comment, Amy doing something with Sokka, and she's like, I'm gonna win this for all the girls in the world, and Knuckles like, so is this just like a thing to promote girl... girl whatever... Power? girl power and then they all just look at him he's like what I can be a feminist <laughs> I'm like what That's but it's I butchered okay. that quote horribly okay but the show is hilarious I took advantage great. of a lightning deal on Amazon the other day and bought like a $70 journal for 12 bucks I was really proud lightning yeah. deal what's that it's like I've never seen that um, you're not prime no, the, it's, I don't think it has Prime. anything to do with Prime. Um, but if Optimus. you don't do Prime, you should totally do Prime. Um, Prime. With as much as you were online. Right. But basically, there's Metro like today's Prime. deals, and then there's what yeah, they call lightning that. deals, where it's based on like a four-hour increment. So rather than like the whole day, um, uh. you only have two three four hours to make a decision like there is no let me put it in the cart and think about it later it's like impulse buy <laughs> yeah i totally just pictured <laughs> metroid prime with the smiley face logo from amazon <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway um i think that's it for news <sighs> oh <laughs> did you see the trailer for ready player one uh-uh Mm-mm. But based on that book, it has a whole bunch of it's like a whole bunch of pop culture stuff mashed up. Mm-mm. Like it has the Iron Giant in it, uh, the DeLoreans oh. in it. Oh, you know, I heard about I it. I heard about this book. I had no idea what it was. So I, I saw, saw a picture book. of the Iron Giant. I watched Giant, the trailer but... once. It's pretty wild looking. Steven Spielberg is doing this. Interesting. Based on a book. So it's probably a bunch and of his Lord stuff. Lord of the Rings is, is in, in it. apparently. I, think I just so. realized I had I two copies of I think someone went Rings. through the trailer yeah. and pointed out all the. I think Lord of the Rings is in it. Interesting. Um, DC Comics, what's well, Warner Brothers, so. Oh, okay. We won't get in more, but we'll get DC. Okay, what else is in there now? Animaniacs. Um, oh, some, <laughs> uh, oh, Sorry, me Some ball. video game. Shoot, I don't remember. It could be any video game. Well, Bubsy. no. <laughs> they mentioned what it was, and I, I can't. Bubsy. 
<laughs> yeah, no, Bubsy. Not Bubsy? I can't remember now. Remember but Wreck It Ralph is coming. Maybe we'll get it almost Mario. feels like Wreck It Ralph. Oh, yeah, Mario. But real. And Sanic. All right. <clears throat> I guess next is reviews. So, how many do you have? I got three. You got three? I got one. Do you have any? <laughs> I don't. You watch anything? Read so. anything? No, that's Listen what I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm like, I haven't really watched anything other than, like, guys' grocery games. <laughs> um, I mean, I get, no. Yeah, I haven't, don't, I haven't had time for TV. I just bought a yeah, book. Yeah, because you don't want to, you don't want to review Logan since I already, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's fine here. It's like, that. Something you see all, it. <laughs> all, all I saw was your hand reaching across his lap and you rubbed. <laughs> Looked very awkward. No, <laughs> and no one can see what's going no. on. So, oh well, I mean, I guess I haven't finished the book yet, but I did just buy a book called um, "The Five Second Rule" by Mel Robbins. That I'm Five really, second really, rule. Really, really enjoying. Is that like when you drop food? No, no. What it is the it five basically rule? the five second rule is basically uh, taking taking that that time to build up the courage to do it or not just and do it basically saying that like motivation is total crap and like say in the morning your alarm goes off you can either <laughs> take the five seconds to reach over and slap the snooze button or you Which can be dumb. like okay five four three two it's one and just thing. get up snooze is the dumbest invention ever made it is horrible. it's the most pointless thing i've ever heard i remember I'm what sure is the think- point of it I don't even You're use setting an alarm. an alarm. It means you gotta get up at that time. <laughs> you can't. I'm not. I know, but it's so have... stupid. It is stupid. You're right. I remember when I worked at Amazon, I actually had to download an app on my phone where you had to solve a math problem in order to deactivate the alarm going off. Oh, really? That's like, a good idea. It, no, oh, it was man. great because it's like you know, you would solve you the problem. And it would be like really, really easy. Just like some simple. Um, simple math, and then if you didn't like totally get up, like, and it would feel the the motion um, mm. of you moving around. But if you didn't totally get up, it would go off again after like two three minutes with a harder problem, <laughs> and then a harder problem until oh, like wow. finally you were like, okay, I'm yeah. awake because now I've used too much brain power to go back to sleep. I'm always up before my alarm. Yeah, I, always. Nope. I never use always. an alarm, but I'm always up. I don't time. know how you do that because. <laughs> I could not. Even <laughs> I've when, always done that. I almost even, always I don't know how. Through. Even at when I do the overnights at the group home, I have to get up, do a safety check, and I always right. set at three a.m. I always am up, like, right before that. That's weird. There's two nights. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That is. I'm like my internal clock. Yeah. No. Yeah. Kind of like no my when my when internal clock up. wakes me up fifteen and... minutes before I'm supposed to be at work. I'm like, <laughs> well, oh no. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. No, it's awful. I almost always sleep through my alarm. It doesn't I, matter I'm, what I do. I will wake up at the slightest noise. Wow. I had a roommate like you once. So he can't sleep Not, with us. I have to sleep with a fan on and drown out all the noise. It's just a constant noise. I have to sleep with a fan. Sleep with us? What are you talking about? I was delayed. I was delayed. <laughs> you can't, he can't sleep with us. <laughs> That would have meant. What you don't want to anyway. Cuddle? So was that your? <laughs> <laughs> so was that your room? <laughs> I get. I mean, like I haven't finished it yet, but right. I mean, I had listened to an interview with her. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> had listened to an interview about the, the concept of the book. You listened to the book on audio? No, I listened to an interview with the author. Um, I, I listened. Oh. To, I listened to these podcasts called uh, Success Talks. Um, <laughs> With leaders and business people and whatnot all over the world. What is wrong with you? He's got the giggles. <laughs> He's got the giggles. <laughs> I thought you said listen. I mean, this to is that. gonna be an hour podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're already half hour into it. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, I, like, I, I like to listen to a variety of different podcasts. Do you listen to books on tape? Not typically. I don't know what that's I'm, like. I've never My mom I have some tape. To it. Uh, You're <laughs> No, my mom listens someone to Someone narrates the book for you. I know. If I can listen to it, someone narrating. Stephen King himself, maybe. I thought you were going to say Steve Carell. Steve Carell. <laughs> Steve Carell. Steve Carell. <laughs> wow. 
That'd be pretty Just fun. wow. <laughs> No, I've I've never done the audiobook thing. I, I get too distracted. So yeah, you're right. Um, I mean, like but I have I have an hour drive, and most of the podcasts Good. I listen to are anywhere from thirty minutes to just shy of an hour. So it gives me just enough time to kind of stay focused because I'm. Are you done? Why are you testing? The mic works. <laughs> In case you were wondering. I don't think you need to try that soda. I want to. We need to. <laughs> okay. Um, review time. Was that your review? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. So you, you got roll. three. Since it's like the third time you've interrupted me. <laughs> he, that's what he does. Maybe you should. He does, you don't interrupt in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you, you ask done questions yet? about you what she's talking about. Yeah. Way to show an interest, honey. Well, it's just got awkward silence. So I'm like, okay, is that it or is that more? <laughs> no, you it's weren't. because you kept interrupting. <laughs> oh. Hey, look at the big gear on the wall. <laughs> okay, well, that an- was It'll legitimate. be another year and a half before I'm on this podcast again. <laughs> Dude, every you're, anniversary you're that you guys have. <laughs> oh my gosh. What you be, say? Every anniversary. <laughs> every year. You know that Do you understand that what today is? <laughs> I, <guess. laughs> I don't think you do. It's I just all thought dispersed, you, everybody. I just thought you said something about some man's abs, and I was confused. I said no. <laughs> why would I talk about a man's abs? That's why I was wondering. But okay, all right. Moving on. Whatever. To... Okay, so Chris, what do you? What else do you have to review? I anything? haven't even done mine yet. Okay, well then, <laughs> go for it. John please. Wick, Chapter Two. John Wick. Okay. You know John Wick? I don't. <laughs> it's I, rev- name it's, I reviewed the first movie it's of the last... male Atomic Blonde. No, it's not Atomic Blonde. I know. I was about to say that's Jason Bourne, know, isn't but... it? <sighs> They're all kind of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, except John Wick's kind of a bad Well, he was a bad guy. I don't know. They don't really explain. But anyway, <laughs> John Wick's Keanu Reeves action movie got really good reviews. Oh, okay. And Jason had them. So oh, from. you know what? That's I why watched... I know the name because I found your list from last week. <laughs> oh, I left it here. Yeah, I was wondering where it was. <laughs> yeah, John it was Wayne. Wayne. I'm just like, John... uh, it was hey, go around here somewhere. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, I gave the I gave the last one a four. Yes, John Wick Chapter Two, even better. Oh my gosh, for four point five, it was really good. Like, really <laughs> good. Oh. Uh, you remember how I said he they stole his car in the, in the first movie? You said card or car? Car. Yes. He killed his dog. Yes, 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 yes. Well, yes. I've forgotten that he never got his car back in the oh. first movie. Well, at the beginning of this movie, he's getting his yes. car back. <laughs> it's awesome sequence, too. And he manages to total his car by the end of it. Poor guy. He drives it home. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like my car funny. last week. <laughs> <Pretty funny. laughs> um... But this one, you get more into the, what he was before, like that. Remember how I said he was part of like this assassin's guild, mm-hmm. and they had like this the way they operated. Well, you get more into it this time. Like they have all these set rules that they have to follow, and each member really has to respect those rules. It was really interesting, and the action I think was better. I think everything about the movie was was better. And they said they're Wait, doing so is this a, a book chapter. Or a... No, it's a orig- it's an original movie. Okay. Um, Keanu Reeves was an, he was a part of this Assassin's Guild. We don't know what the name of it is. They never tell you the name. But he quit because he met someone and got married. That tickles. And Stop. not doing anything. She died. She was sick and died. Yeah. And she, when she died, she knew she was dying. So she planned it that when she died, um, they delivered a dog to his house and That's she wrote weird. a letter and said don't ever do that no she wrote a letter <laughs> saying you need some help you know getting through oh that's kind of like this. a PSA love and you thing did you ever see that movie? no and but they <laughs> he, he runs into these thugs and they follow him home because he has a nice car and he wanted to steal his car well they kill his dog too that's and just that wrong. sets him off and he's like a master assassin he's considered the boogeyman Everyone, everyone knows who he is. He was like the real deal, <coughs> and it was 
He goes and just kills everybody. <laughs> Isn't huh. there a third one that just they said, came out? No, they were. They're gonna do a third. Oh, they're gonna do a third one. Because okay. the second one did even better than the first. Yeah. Huh. Critically and financially, did pretty good. So, I'm excited because I really liked it a lot. A lot. Would you give it? Four point five. I would. I was right. Out of five. Out I'm of assuming. five. Out of okay. five. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. Chapter three. See what happens. Movies shouldn't have chapter titles. Yeah, well, <laughs> Gotta chapter two. That's what they call it. Some movies do that. Guardians is volume two. Yeah. yeah. But Which different. we still need to see that. Well, it's coming out soon. This month, right? That's what they said. I haven't heard an official I announcement. I suppose we did the same thing with Doctor Strange. Well, we waited until like that came out on DVD. That. Go ahead with your second one. I'll do mine between your second and third. Um, I Mask of the Phantasm came out on Blu-ray. Okay. That oh, Batman okay. movie. Yeah. Okay. First one. Still for the longest Blu-ray, time. Blu-ray August 22nd. Yeah, I thought so. But they haven't announced what's on it or anything. A movie? I know there's oh, a... Special uh, feature. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, for the longest time, Mask of the Phantasm... Which, for those of you who don't know, was a movie based on the animated series. It was actually released in the middle of the series. It was still going on. Um, and for the longest time, it was the best Batman movie. Until the Nolan movies came out. <sighs> and I remember when I was a kid, because I watched the show when it was first on. And then this movie came out and I rented it. And I thought it was just one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Because it was violent. They added blood and stuff in, in that movie that wasn't on the cartoon, if you remember. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That like, scene where he kicks the Joker and his tooth goes flying out. Oh. oh my gosh, when I was a kid, I rewound that like five times because I thought it was the coolest <laughs> thing. Because I had never seen violence like that in a cartoon back then. I, you didn't that was the Girls. That was later. That was the early 90s. 1993. Dude. Dude. You were still in diapers. I don't even know. You, yeah, how old were you in 93? Two. One. One. What is your Sorry. math? <coughs> what is my math? Yeah, what is your math? I've been up since 2 a.m. Okay? What is your English? <laughs> yeah, that too. I at least have an excuse. Anyway, I watched it today. <laughs> Still a good movie, I think. Huh. I think it's a good story. I really like that Joker was in it. Mark Hamill was good in this. Let's see how it. it. We, we, we watched it. No, oh, that's right. We did. Phantasm, remember? Yeah, it was, we watched they it. They went to his past. It was, it was the female. Yeah. Andrea Beaumont. It. She was killing all the mob bosses. Oh. Yeah. It was, a, it was a mystery okay. as to who that was. Right, 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 right. Okay. And then the Joker was... Right, so what was the rating? I, I'm not even done. Oh. <clears throat> you're right. Rude. You do you interrupt. Rude. <clears throat> that doesn't mean you're done with the review. I'm just curious. Anyway. The animation doesn't really hold up so well. For a feature, for this feature, I've seen episodes of the series that look better than this movie. Unfortunately, was that a? Direct... the last half, the battle with the Joker looked pretty good. That was a direct stuff... to DVD thing, right? No, that went to theaters. Oh, was originally it? it wasn't going to, but I guess they thought it was good enough, it, but it didn't do well. Interesting. Yeah, I don't remember coming out of the theaters here though. Mm. But yeah, it was a theater PG. Mm. You think it would have been a little more better than some of the episodes? But... Animation wise, yeah. I know. That's what kind of like while watching this, and the and the HD's not that great. Like, well, it wasn't like, made for it, right? <laughs> but like some of the scenes, it's like blurry, and then but it's because it's back then it wasn't done digitally like yeah. Justice League when we watch it. Mm-hmm. That's that's stuff drawn digitally back then. That was hand drawn or mm-hmm. negatives or something. I don't know how they did lost it. art. Yeah, so it looks a little strange. Because then remastering, I guess, is not as easy. Yeah. So it looks odd to me. So how would you prefer it? Would you watch it like that again, or would you prefer just watching like a regular DVD version of it? It doesn't look like super better, like the Disney movies. Yeah. Like when I first watched Disney movie in HD, I was like, oh my god, Beauty and like Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, that beginning part, the stained glass stuff. I was like, because I was kind of like, oh, what's what's animation how's that gonna look at each day? that's not gonna look any better i was just like oh my gosh yeah it does i think but that was this i didn't the local really theaters what? There, there was a local drama group doing a 
Beauty and the Beast. Hmm. Play. I, I mean, it's I not preferred. super. There's no special features, which is weird because back then they actually had a featurette on the making of, but it's never been released. Hmm. I guess you can watch it on YouTube. Probably. Watch Mark Hamill go make his weird faces as he's doing <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommended, of course, Batman the Animated Series. Yeah. People are people were pushing for that to be on Blu-ray though. It's gonna look like like the movie looks. So <laughs> I don't know how much better it's really gonna look. I mean, I'm just curious because I haven't seen any of like the I Love Lucy on Blu-ray. That wasn't that made for that. Blu-ray. I know, but I haven't seen oh, what I, the difference. I watched is. Twilight Zone on Blu-ray. That looked good. Hmm. I mean, they can go back and rematch those old shows. I mean, it looked I feel like Star Trek that. Next Generation. I mean, it looked like it was filmed today. You watched really? It. Oh my gosh, you watched huh. HD. Hmm. They did a really good job on those Blu-rays on the Star Trek ones. It just depends on who's doing the rematch. Some people can do. Poor job like the Buffy, people are outraged. Sorry, I was gonna say that. I think the game. I only, but, yeah, I was just saying only everything. It's true, like galore. Yeah, they remastered that on Netflix, and it's terrible. Like, you should remaster see camera the game. people, like because they made it in widescreen. It's not filmed for widescreen, so you can see camera people on the side of the thing and stuff. Yeah, people are. Hey, there's a petition, to there's a petition the online to have a remaster redone. Yeah. <clears throat> Watch not on Blu-ray, with though. your dad is like that. He's like, there's a cameraman. Just that, like, oh, shut yeah, up! Right. That's why I was confused, confused, concerned about, like, I Love Lucy, because that's old, and, you know, like, the, their apartment's only so big, so if Was they that put in the widescreen? I don't know. Not all Star Trek wasn't. Oh, okay, then it might not have been. X-Files that. was, but they actually filmed it, because the cinematographer for that show kind of had the foresight to see that widescreen was going to be the thing, so it was actually filmed for that, but even that's back then. smart. Star Trek, they didn't. They put that to the normal four by three. Okay. And I know Josh Whedon, who created Buffy, hates the fact that it's a widescreen. He said it was not made for that. So hopefully they'll go back and it's not on Blu-ray yet. Mm. I hope it comes out on Blu-ray. So hopefully somebody will do something somewhere. Over the rainbow. But I love Lucy. I don't know. You have to look at a review to see what they. Yeah, I'd most. have to. And I. I, I want to say we might have looked at that before and it wasn't. Yeah, but it wasn't a widescreen. I don't think so but i'm not sure friends i know friends they put in a widescreen they had to go digitally erase things from I gotta get like, why do you bother that. to put in a widescreen then if you yeah it just creates it's more stupid. work for you but work, 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 work. okay last is a cd Uh-oh. in this moment you know in this moment band no heavy hard rock heavy female singer who screams like i've never heard anyone scream she has a good screaming voice. Anyway, they they released a new album. In it. No, trust me, there is a really? technique to it, and you can be an awful screamer. You just you give a look. There's a technique to it. You give a look about what? Screaming I just women. gave a look. You just said she was a really good screamer. And she is. She's good at it. Sean gave she's me a, a look singer. like she's got it's a unique screaming. Voice. Like how do you? She's a very emotional woman. Anyway, I, I discovered them a couple like four years ago when they've been around for a while, but they didn't make it big until like their fourth album. It was Blood, which I heard on the radio, and I was like, "Who is this?" Because I it sounded quite different. <laughs> and there was a client of the group home at the time had that album. And he played it while we played cards. I heard it over and over again, <laughs> and I loved it. I bought it. It's in my like top ten albums ever. That's so, something we haven't done. We did. Did we not do albums? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, anyway, they I released like another album did. after that. No, we didn't. Not CD you albums. Know, I don't not. think we did. No, we've done we TV should. shows and movies and anyway, games. They released an album after that called Black Widow. That was pretty good. This album is very different. I don't think she screamed once. So right there. Uh, it's very... There's a southern rock vibe to it. It's a little bit that I'm not liking. Because it's heavy metal. Right. It seems like it's a very toned down... Remember. Album, and I and I'm not digging it. Do you like very it? disappointed? They do a cover of uh, "In the Air Tonight," though. Is that what which you is shared? Interesting. Yeah, I think I did. What was it? Okay. It's interesting. "In the Air Tonight," they do a cover. The Phil oh. Collins song, right? Um, musically, it's strange. Her voice, she sings really good on it. Yeah. Are you? Do you listen to Panic at the Disco at all? No. Okay. Because they're copyright. Do not play it. Not. 
playing it. <laughs> um, but their their latest album, Death of Death of a Bachelor. Um, I just recently listened to it, only because I used to listen to Panic at the Disco a lot back in the day. Um, but like, it'll go from their their standard sound to all of a sudden like he has this Frank Sinatra sound to his voice and like really right? weird. Like big band feel to it, which is yeah. not them at all. Yeah, like a lot of bands, bands do that; they'll change their sound, and then people get mad because it's not what they want. Yeah, yeah. Like this is a good example. Of this album here, like doesn't even sound. Well, like Kids it. in the Way did that too. They went from being like alternative rock to harder rock well, people... to all of a sudden being poppy. And then yeah, I'm just like, I guess I don't... they get tired of doing the same thing. I haven't actually I heard well, any of the that, new stuff, but, but I've heard people say that about Linkin Park too. Yeah, I. That their I was old very stuff was better, and oh, then their newer yeah. stuff was, was like their last two really albums. Any... I didn't even buy the last album because the album before that I didn't like. Mm. The people they stray away from how they started, and it's like mm-hmm. sometimes it's good. Like Katy like, Perry, she started off Christian, then. <laughs> well, I, well, you're right. But her albums have been <laughs> Wait, good. What? She was the only thing that hasn't disappointed me this year. So far, Paramore disappointed me. Katy Perry was good, and now in this. What movie, was that one Katy Perry song that came on that one day we were listening? It was kind of slow. I think it had something to do with words. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, like the song had something to do with words. <laughs> She's got a lot of hits, man. I don't know. It was kind of slow. Like it wasn't she like... She got a slow song, yeah. Poppy. It was... I listen to mostly classic rock. <laughs> and... Like, and there's this one song that keeps coming at work, and I don't know the name of it. Pam's told me twice, and I can't remember it. Something about Hey Little Girl. Hey... What's your name? Is that the song? What's your own name? Little girl. What's your own name? What's your own name? That's Leonard Skinner, man. The Southern Rock. Southern Rock. That's the right song I'm thinking of. Oh. Hey, little girl. Oh. Hey, little girl? Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. All I heard was Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck on you. Is that what Pam said it was? Stuck on you. Yeah, I have no idea what you're uh, talking about. Every song they play are big hits. I don't know of a song named Stuck on You. <laughs> Hey, they don't play any, They don't play any obscure songs on that station at work. I feel like stuck on you. Every time I go in, it's the same like four songs. It is. Anyway, I give this out like a two point five. There's a few songs 2. I 5. like. Mm-hmm. Like there's one called Witching Out. I like that, and the case is cool. The CD case is really neat. Looking. Highly Find disappointing. It. Highly, highly. That's too bad. What a shame. That's one for three this year, these new albums. Yeah. Um one for three. Katy Perry wins. <laughs> Year's not over. I don't know what else is I don't coming. know. I don't think anyone else. She is hasn't coming. come back yet. Who is that no? Yeah. I don't think she has. What are you talking about? Miss Edna. Edna. She went back in her house. Oh, did she? Yeah, I watched her. Creeper? I I wanted to make sure she got up her porch (laughs) okay. She was struggling a little bit. Yeah. She makes me nervous. (laughs) Anyway, um, I guess we'll go to my review quick because it's quicker. Splatoon 2! (laughs) Story mode. Story mode, Splatoon 2. I mean, multiplayer is great. But, um... The story mode is fun. Um, if you're playing the first, <laughs> playing the first one, <laughs> don't judge me. Um, you kind of know what to expect, except this time, you know, you got more weapon choices. It looks the same. Looks the same. They but... didn't even change the two-player thing, which is stupid. Yeah, yeah. that's a whole separate thing. Um, single player is fun. You know, you got more weapons to choose from, and the story this time is the Squid Sisters from the first game. The one Squid Sister went missing. And at the very end, spoiler alert, ends up being uh, um, controlled, mind controlled, basically by the boss no, from the first game. The boss, the DJ, final boss. D- yeah, DJ Octavian. DJ. Yeah, he's actually a DJ. He goes, 
Oh, I didn't review Abigail. Well, you can review her after I'm done. It's a guy. You can review him after I'm done. Okay. And, um... <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fun. Like, it's it's a fantastic game. Honestly, so far from what I've played, I'm putting it over the first Splatoon. Why? What, um, what did they change in this? Well, the new weapons are fun. Okay. The new mode, Salmon Run, is fun. Which That's is technically, it? I guess that could replace two-player mode because it is local co-op thing is you just everybody you needs their own switch. copy their stupid own switch and their own copy stupid did you say salmon run yes where's the big red soda what? it's in our fridge oh yeah now i have it too we'll, we'll get there we'll get there and um <laughs> salmon run makes it fun <laughs> <laughs> salmon run makes it fun but <laughs> salmon run. you know so i would recommend it i would give it a four point <gasps> <laughs> English, Sean. You've been doing this. I would give it a 4.5. If you have a Switch, definitely pick it up. Play me, fight me, squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you know he's going to vomit. Listen to the vomiting. It's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, get okay, it. Okay, Abigail. Did I talk about Abigail last week? No. She put a five. She put a five DLC new character was Abigail. This is the man from man. Final Fight. He was a boss in Final Fight. What was? Abigail. Abigail was a man. He's a guy. He was a boss in Final Fight, and he was a, a DLC character, of Street Fighter Five, and he's the biggest Street Fighter character I've ever seen. He's literally as tall as a screen. I mean, he makes Zangief, who's the big guy, like the look the, tiny. What is that? Uh, that robot from Marvel's Capcom? <laughs> Sentinel. Yeah. Sentinel. So like I, that. Can, yeah, I swear, he's probably as big as that Sentinel. Huge guy. His story is a little bizarre. He's his car is missing. He's obsessed with cars. He's kind of a little Sounds slow. Like Sebi. He seems a little slow, so he's mumbling to himself. And as different characters pass by him, he, they think he, he's saying stuff to him, mm-hmm. like he's mentioning a flat tire, and it goes like, "You calling me a flat?" <laughs> <laughs> and so you fight him. Then <laughs> you're fighting all these people, and then these, See, final, don't go these curve. final fight characters, some of the little bad guys you fought, come in and like, "Oh, you." You let us borrow your car. Don't you remember that? And then he gets mad and then beat him up. <laughs> Man. It's kind of weird. Like, Leads into like, a new final like, fight. His moves are pretty cool. No. <laughs> I didn't, and there's new stages out too. I final fight piece. stage. Uh, the reuse stage is out. I couldn't get him though. You need to learn patience. I forgot and, a piece of news. And uh, he goes, he goes, boom, boom, boom. Dumb. Yeah, he's weird. Does he's that like sound big, like Seppi? He, he might, he's, he's got a mohawk. Okay. He might be seven well. in the future. He's <laughs> humongous. He puts t- he's wearing tires around his arm. How oh, big geez. the guy is. He's got tires for bracelets. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Abigail. What would you Two rate more him? characters. What would you I rate liked him, him a lot. Uh, what is his rating? <laughs> I don't rate these characters. <laughs> I like to see Final Fight characters in this. We've had a lot of Final Fight characters in hey, Street Fighter games now. Little girl. Like Poison. Da, 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 transvestite. Da, 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 da. Yep, still hey, don't know y'all. what you're talking about. Wait, keep going there. I miss all that. <laughs> what did you do? The What's your name? No, I keep hey, that's... Little girl. I can't, I can't remember the rest of the lyrics. That's why it's... Da, 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 da. Okay. You're changing the keys. I know. I I don't even know what you're saying. Sean. Should text Pam. I have her number. Be like, what is that Why do song? You have her phone number? Because she was gonna come over here one day <laughs> for New Year's. I say. And she never did. Okay, you got a news thing. Pam, not Pam. Pam, not. Oh, maybe I don't have her Sean. number. Uh, yeah. Just I don't think I mentioned this. Uh, the Mario Odyssey rating. You mentioned it to me. To you. So, Super Mario Odyssey has been rated and is actually the first ever Mario game to be rated E10. Mario regular game. Regular Mario game to be rated E10. <laughs> so that's interesting. I don't know why it's E10. It usually says. For, for what? Comic mischief? It might be, but... E10 know. is... Animated blood. It's not teen, though. Animated that blood. That would be teen, wouldn't it? Animated blood? Yes. No, because... Uh, or Skyward Sword. <laughs> Breath of the Wild has that. It has and that's E10. It? Where? 
It's animated blood. I don't remember anything. Every time you destroy the boss, they splooge this, like... (laughs) Don't say that word. This, like, like, purple liquid that squirts from their body. I don't remember this stuff. Well, then you obviously didn't pay attention when the enemies exploded. (laughs) (laughs) No, I didn't. I took a picture of one. Alright, show me. I will show you. Show me the money. Two more characters left for Street Fighter. I wonder what they'll be. I got a lot of stages to get. I gotta get some fight money, but I'm not a PlayStation Plus member. So I gotta earn it the old fashioned way. Right? Yes. I'll get an extra 30,000 if I log in sometime this month. I wish I got an extra 30,000. Yeah. Oh, we had this competition at work. It was our 10 year anniversary as a warehouse, and they were giving away like. Two hundred and fifty dollar gift certificates and parking spaces and <laughs> parking Amazon spaces. Echoes and whatnot and I didn't get any of them. It was a sad moment. I don't know. She probably won't respond to that until like tomorrow. Probably not. You actually know, texted her. I messaged her and messaged her because I thought I had a number, but it didn't. Hmm. 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 Moving mm-hmm. on. Are we trying this stuff? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. We, we so said first. I think we'll, we got nothing else. Your we, Marvel. Do you have any Marvel? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. We're going to be here till midnight. I don't have a review. Okay. And when I don't have a review, I got to come up with something. Well, I decided to go through, because I was just curious, all the MCU movies and what their Rotten Tomato scoring is. Okay? Sure. So I got them all up to Spider-Man. And I'm going in order. 2008, okay, was the first movie. I told him it was 10 years ago. Iron Man. 94%. 94%. Okay. Incredible Hulk, 67. Iron Man 2 got a 72. Thor got a 77. Captain America got 80. Avengers, 72. Iron Man 3, 79. Thor Dark World, 66, which surprises me. Because really? I love Thor. In fact, I love Dark World. I actually like that one way better than the first Thor, but it got... In fact, that's the lowest rating of all the movies on here, is Thor The Dark World. I don't know why. Winter Soldier, 89, which I think that should be higher. Guardians, yeah. 91. Age of Ultron, 75. I agree with that. Ant-Man, 81. Civil War got a 90. Doctor Strange got a 90. Oh, which surprises wow. me. And Spider-Man also did Guardians that. 2 got an 82. Don't spell it yet. And Spider-Man got a 92. So the highest movie is Iron Man. The first movie that came out. Wow. 94. The last four movies that came out are in the 90s. That's awesome. Thor, I surprised about Thor Dark World. I thought yeah. Incredible Hulk would have got a lower well, one percentage away. But... I was surprised that Iron Man, the first Iron Man, has the highest <laughs> rating. I'm sorry, and I'm still trying anyway, to find this stupid song. It's bugging me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would too. rate Thor the Dark World higher. Yeah. That one was good. Yeah, that we you said that was luck. 62? 66. 66% 66 on Rotten Tomatoes. Everything else got like. <laughs> Did you already taste that? No. <laughs> but they're all fresh. Every single MC movie is fresh. It smells like bubble gum, straight up. Yeah, it does. It smells like it freaking does. bubble gum. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not help. Okay. But they're all let's fresh just, though. All right, let's just all of them. Uh, That's good. Sixties, uh, below sixties rot. Do we have? Well, we'll see if that continues. Hopefully, it does. Yeah. All right. So we got some weird so, soda. I don't, I don't, I don't Our wanna, taste test. I don't want to do it. Oh my we gosh, that is it I know. exactly like we bubble got gum. Two things that we're trying to do. We're gonna try <laughs> the drink first, and then we'll try. It's called our Big Red. We have no idea what it thing. is. It's soda. And it's, it's soda. red. Apparently, it <clears throat> tastes like its own thing. Um, it smells like bubble gum. It smells like bubble gum. It smells like bubble gum. It actually reminds me. <laughs> it looks like Jello. Without tasting it, yeah, it does kind of look like Jello. <laughs> like liquid Ow. Jello. It's well, just Jello red. before it jellifies. Jeez. <laughs> oh, um, you guys ready? ready? I guess. All right. Um, three, two, one. 
Oh, yeah. That Very is, bubble gum. It is bubble gum flavored <laughs> soda. Is what it is. It's like a cream soda bubble gum. Yeah, that's, that's where the cream comes cream from. Soda. Cause like it's very like. It kind of reminds <laughs> me of my first drink that my dad bought me at a bar. <laughs> what was that? Red Death. She texts Justin and tell him it's bubble gum flavored soda. I don't know, man. That's weird. It smells like bubble gum. Tastes like cream soda. <laughs> no, because I still, I still, I still, yeah, I still taste, taste the bubble gum. Yeah. Little girl, hey. <laughs> What's your <laughs> name? Right. Little girl. Do, do, do. You gotta do, do, do. sing the song. You I don't know do the that. lyrics. <laughs> and he doesn't know the song, so I can't even look up the lyrics. I just know the okay, hey, so, little hey, girl. little girl lyrics. I type that, but there's a whole bunch of other songs, and I don't think it's. I don't think the title of the song is Hey Little Girl. Probably not. I don't and that's what that. keeps coming up. So I'd have to play it and then I would know from the melody. Right. But you can't do that because of copyright. No. Okay. Please don't. So. But you don't know what it is anyway. I don't. To play it. <laughs> Verdict on the drink. Tastes like bubble gum soda. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't know I if don't, I would go out of I my way to drink buy it. it. I would never buy it. I'm definitely grabbing you my gonna, Dr. Pepper after this. Are you going to drink that whole thing? You probably will. <laughs> and then he'll be so buzzed tonight. I wonder why he can't sleep. Seriously, tastes like bubble gum. I, keep, I kind of want to chew, but there's nothing in my mouth to chew. Well, tongue. we do have something Chew else your to tongue. Try. This is right. We oh do have something gosh. to chew. Okay, here. so this is something. Morgan, do you want to say what this is since you bought this? I bought this. Okay, so I used to manage a coffee shop, and I like to go back from time to time and check on things, especially since they got new owners, and they just recently started offering new products, and one of them is a chocolate chip cookie dough rice crispy treat. No, the cookie dough is on top. The cookie dough like is on in, top. Yeah. Which I think I would prefer if it was mixed. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a start. It is a start. Stark. Stop. Yeah, Tony. <laughs> Alright, so. The tiger. Tony. Hey, I give Tony. Chris the big one. The big Take, take the, big the big one. You got the you big like short dough. one. You got the fat oh. short one. <laughs> Alright, you ready? I feel like I need water. <laughs> I got water. 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 No, because knowing you're lucky, you would have gotten it. No, because I would have spiked it, so I would have known which one it was. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah, Three, go two, one. What? <laughs> what? Oh, it I don't really taste cookie dough. I've still got big red in my mouth. <laughs> the cookie dough is kind of an aftertaste. I kind of taste it. I don't... But it's it's more the marshmallow yeah. than anything. Mm. Well, That's the first time you tried it? Uh-huh. Hmm. I had a couple of other things I thought about trying, but this one was free, so. Oh, free is always good. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. No. Which is why I got it for free. <laughs> yeah. I don't taste cookie dough. I mean, it wasn't horrible, it's just. No. I'm going to but... drink this after that and see what it tastes like. Oh, God. No. Nope, still tastes like bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, bubble gum. Well, what were you expecting? He I don't went, know. I was hoping that it would taste cinnamon. something different. Ew, cinnamon. some cinnamon in there. Some Not cinnamon. after Pepsi cinnamon, no. Cinnamon. I don't have any fireballs. Fireballs. All no. right. I think that's it. You guys got anything else? It's just over an hour. Just like we Phantasm, said. the chick. <laughs> remember? Do you remember the story? Yes. What? Tell me. <laughs> no. Remember the girl. 
<laughs> it was the he was in love. He fell in love when he was young. Remember they flashed back to when he first started out as Batman. He was in love with that girl, Andrea Beaumont. Mm. Her dad was mixing up with a rough crap. Right. Okay. And they had to run off, and she broke off. Then he was he asked her to marry Batman, Bruce Wayne. And she came back as the Phantasm. Spoiler alert! She came back as the Phantasm and was killing all those mob bosses. And then she leaves again. Okay, what about it? <laughs> she appears very briefly one more time. We're going to see her. We haven't even seen it yet. Oh. Remember that said that epilogue episode? Yeah. Because she's been missing this whole time. Yeah, and I still don't quite understand the, when you watch it. I still don't understand why she's even in it. Hmm. You'll see. Well, we're a ways from that. So. Yeah, not well. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Batman Beyond because technically it's a Batman Beyond episode. Which I actually saw a news article today that Ben Affleck has signed on for a Batman trilogy and a Batman Beyond movie. An old Batman? I guess. Well, he's not that old. Stop. Clint what? Eastwood would be a good old. Oh my gosh! Batman. Wouldn't he? Adam West could have come back if he was still alive. Could have no, came back no, for I the think old I'd... Batman. Clint Eastwood. He'd Adam West the, was like the, he'd be awesome. the cheesy Batman. He was. It was yeah. Cheesy sixties. Yeah. Oh gosh, they should totally do Clint Eastwood. That'd be great. Batman I mean, Beyond movie, yeah. Was this renewed for no. the second season? Uh, the Return? Yeah. I don't know. I'll watch it. Oh. Because now you said the one show I liked was canceled. <laughs> I'm yeah, like one of the only ones that liked it. Stranger Things saw that trailer. Uh, looks good, looks good. Uh, aren't they doing a season two or whatever of that 13 Reasons Why thing? What's that? That's 13 that, Reasons Why what? It's that show that got a lot of controversy because it's about suicide. Teen suicide. I don't know. There's a bunch of people talking about it. Yeah, it's a Netflix thing. But, uh, anyway, okay, I think that's it. You got anything, Chris? Besides noises? You sound like the sand people. <laughs> that's, oh, oh. <laughs> Kane's up like this. Oh! Something that came out of... Star Wars? You guys won't care. Comic-Con? Something that came out of Comic-Con was, um, um, uh, ah. the people that make Milo Murphy... Uh, did I mention this last week? I think you did, right oh. out. Okay. Yeah, you okay, did. I did miss it. Never mind then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got oh, they're doing the prehistoric Avengers. Huh. <laughs> what? From a million BC. Yeah. Like movie? No, oh, comic. Oh, okay. You got anything? I want to say something about Gotham, but it's been a while since I've been able to catch up on anything, and I'm so behind in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's ridiculous. Oh. That last season was good, man. Don't spoil anything. It was me. so good. Don't spoil <laughs> it! <laughs> So good. Do we ever find out what that? Remember what that guy's name was? Because we were trying to Ward. think of it. Ward. That's um, it. it. Instantly comes to me that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we brought that we up, we like think of his name. What is his name? And we never we did, but now it's Ward. Got it. Wasn't Pain he in the last season? <laughs> but not him. Uh, yeah, because I remember seeing him on Facebook. I never hated the character as much as him. Oh, uh, I hated what's her face on Lost. Blonde girl. See, it's weird because... Just because of her face. At the start of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I liked uh, him. She just... Uh, he was just... At the start, uh, I liked him. Was, but like, I, in the the first, the I the never start, liked him. At the start, I, never I liked was him. like on the edge with him because I felt like he was going to be a twisted character. Oh. And then, like, he came out, and spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, like, he and May were knocking it together between the sheets, and that was awkward, because she was at least 15, 20 years older than him. And the voice of Mulan. (laughs) Which blonde? Not (laughs) not blonde. Back to that subject. Back to Lost. Um, Was this during, like, the first season? No. Okay. A little later. Okay. I never watched She was already on the island. Okay. Were you one of the people that... Do you like Parks and Recreation? I never watched it. Okay. I wasn't sure if you did or not, because I know no. you like like a few of those weird shows like that. Or do, you, do you like The Office? Yeah, I love The Office. I've never actually <laughs> I've seen... To, you've never watched The Office? I, might have I think I've lips. seen like... No, it's not. I don't think it's on anymore. I think they took it Jason off. Jason has them all. Does he? I I'd like to get them all. I wanted to see if they were coming out with like a complete series Blu-ray box set. 
That would be cool. No, they did DVD only. Rude. So I don't know. I'll eventually and consider it get them. <laughs> Now, did you so, like, did you ever have an interest of watching like the UK versions? It's apparently no. totally different, like no. different people. Not have Steve Carell. He's what makes it funny. That's true. And because it, Steve no, Carell. Yeah. And there's He's a so one clip on it on Facebook. There's a clip going around. It was the one guy. I don't know names. Yeah, I think but he'd he like said, it. I think he'd probably he said he was playing a trick or something. So he said something on White. fire, and then he also like put like. Did a blowtorch on the door handles to make them feel hot. So when it, the Dwight. smoke, yeah, That's smoke was coming through the doors, everybody's like, "Oh my gosh, it's hot!" And then it's <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, I want to watch it. I've, I've always wanted while. to be that prankster and never had the guts to. That do could be it. the I next show one we prank. watch after Batman. The Office. The Office. That'd be interesting. Since you said you, you, you want to watch it again. Or you I move? moved someone's car once. So you they thought moved to somebody's car? Moved. Moved. <laughs> moved. So they thought it was... I'm like, I can't picture you moving so anybody. So they didn't know it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you thought it was stolen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that I was mean, extent- I was say, this one wasn't really a prank. Do you remember? No, you weren't because you weren't a Masters. I stole Josiah's car. It was a stick I shirt. heard about it. Yeah, yeah, so I stole a classmate's car because he always left his keys around. And this was a Christian college. This was a Christian college. <laughs> so I go what to steal. To I go it? to steal she stole the car. A car. Shut up. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't leave the parking lot. I just moved it from one entrance area to another. <laughs> but by the time that I got to the main road, getting ready to, to pull into a different section of the parking spot, the assistant pastor was walking up to the mailbox, and I stalled. And he bends <laughs> over and laughs hysterically at me mm-hmm. because then Josiah comes running out of the the church. She's like, get out of my car. In which case, I was able to get it started and moved again. But This reminds me of a, apparently a joke that uh, Justin and the others played on a uh, guy who used to work at Grocery Outlet. Apparently, like, one of his last weeks or his last day or whatever, they all went out to his car and saran wrapped I've his always car. wanted to do that, too. And apparently they were like, this one customer was walking around and said, you guys can't do that. I'm going to call the cops on you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, no, and they're we, like, no, we like, it's okay. We always talk about doing that at work with people who say they're they're leaving it or it's their last day or they're going to quit. And we're like, we're totally going to shrink wrap your car. <laughs> okay, so now there's like almost a complete two liter of this stuff in the... All right. Which, you guys didn't tell me, back to the Big Red, you didn't tell me it was going to be that big bottle. I thought that it was, was going to be... I thought it was going to be like a tiny little like well, standard 16 ounce. Unfortunately. Oh, unfortunately That's not. disgusting. <laughs> you text well, Justin, you ask him to come to, take he, it back. He works, he works tomorrow. I'll bring it in with me, but here, you can have the rest of this. We Just didn't leave like it in the break room. I could do that. They yeah, would drink could. it. Somebody yeah. will drink it, probably. Yeah. Pappy. Knowing... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I well, swear he was gonna pass out today. Pappy, he's he was rushing around going. <laughs> <coughs> was he? I never. Well, heard not that. the cough because that I was never, me. But... I never heard him do that before. <laughs> he was, and then like Dustin's like, I swear, at one point he was almost having a heart attack. He's coming out and then going. <laughs> <laughs> As he was doing his thing, that. I'm like, terrifying. I shouldn't laugh. At that. And then he, he always cool. makes. What is on this? I don't. He know. always <laughs> makes. <laughs> Comments like we're like you know I don't even know if I'll be in tomorrow I'll probably be dead. <laughs> Does he say that? He said that today. I'm like, <laughs> why do you think I call my grandfather as much as I do? Oh well, you know. Anyway, happen. all right. Are you, are you guys good? Anything else? There's gotta that be soda more. That was nasty. Yeah, I kind of get when I get my Dr Pepper in, wash it down with goodness. Can we have some of that cake now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the cake is good. Cake all is right. Good. Thank you guys for listening. Tune in next week for episode 39. Dark Tower. Eh. Oh boy. What? Listen to me complain about the Dark Tower. Does it come out? Friday. Oh, okay. Then Friday. you get to hear complainage Friday. next oh, weekend. Yeah. Next week. And by that point, I don't know if I'll have any reviews. Unless we end up watching like Star Wars or something. Rogue One. Uh, but until then, everybody, thanks for listening. Sayonara. See you in another year and a half. <laughs> happy anniversary happy anniversary you can't see me dancing when i'm dancing you don't want to see it you're shaking <laughs> the thing oh i thought i was still doing that go that watch was weird. john wick chapter one and two go watch 
Don't things. The Come things. On. John Carpenter's <laughs> The Thing. That's a good one too. Really good one. Classic horror film. Don't eat <laughs> things that yeah. taste that have the same name as gum, gum no. because they probably taste like gum. It smells like gum. That's why it smells like gum. That's where they got the name. But I knew really. from the start. Of seeing Big Red, I'm like, okay, this is, has to have a gum taste. It was nasty. And it did. I didn't, didn't even not, think that at all. I did not. You I, was hoping, I was hoping for a cinnamon flavor. I mean, that's you what are. I was expecting, but something kind of gum. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On that you. note. I'm going to get cake. Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Let them eat cake.